Hi, I'm Nemson, and I'm going to discuss the Australian wine company Vino Morpha and its digital entrepreneurial marketing activities while tasting wine. Kraus et al. defined entrepreneurial marketing as an organisational function and a set of processes for creating, communicating and delivering value to customers and managing customer relationships in ways that benefit the organisation and its stakeholders. It is characterised by innovativeness, risk taking, proactiveness and can be performed without many upfront resources. A good idea can spread online very quickly. The key here of course is having that good idea. It has to be unique and different. A bad idea, no matter how much you market it, will not gain traction. Vino Buffer started out as a consumer tribe over at Quaff.com. Quaff is an online wine community which brings together wine enthusiasts from Australia and the rest of the world to review wines or link with other Quaffs. The site was established to foster and create a new generation of wine of wine drinkers and tasters. The community often had difficulty finding the wines what others were talking about. To answer this problem while also monetizing off the founders set up Thino Muffer. This was an entrepreneurial move as they started business with a ready-made consumer tribe of 20,000 members. This not only formed an initial customer base but also gave them a wide range of content generators. The Unomorpho is informal, out of the ordinary, and stands out from the crowd. It challenges the images, image of wine drippers and tasters by appealing to a younger audience. The Unomorpho release content on their website and YouTube frequently. They give wine tasting tutorials aimed at a younger audience with titles such as how to taste wine without looking like a wanker, which teaches valuable information with a comedic edge. Other videos involve interviews with the winemakers, such as Wolf Blast, wine reviews, and competitions. These appear to target the traditional wine drinker, which creates inconsistencies as the other content they produce generally alienates its customer base. The use of swearing, calling customers morphos, and community members' coughs. It's giving the community a name, an identity, and is invoking a movement of young wine tasters such as myself. Fina Murpha uses permission marketing that you will sign up to the website and you can give permission to Vino Murpha to send out daily, weekly or monthly newsletters and emails showcasing new content, new daily deals and discounts. The customer makes a choice of how often to receive the emails which I find interesting. I think it empowers the customer and helps create a trusting relationship between customer and brand. Vino Murpha also publish detailed information about the wines they sell. Each wine has its individual page which showcases how to sell it, decant and drink the wine in terms of what food it goes well with. It even goes as far as to give food recipes for those dishes and what song goes well with the wine which I don't quite understand. It also gives detailed information on the producer, the variety, region of origin, colour, scent, palette and how many years you can store it for. Referrals have been around forever, but Vino Morpho take it to the next level by offering incentives. If your friend or family member signs up through your referral and makes a purchase, both accounts will be credited $25. You can do this over and over again, and rack up, rack up to $10,000 of free wine. This is entrepreneurial because it encourages a, a positive word of mouth and can help make customers become brand advocates, essentially doing the marketing for you. Vino Muffa could improve their marketing. The Vino Muffa TV show is currently a monthly show which could be transitioned to a weekly show to keep customers that much more engaged.
I was also disappointed to discover that they do not yet currently ship internationally. This has severely limited their customer base. Why is discounted enough to offset international postage costs, in my opinion? Right. That's all I've got time for. Thanks for watching.